Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's webinar on deploying 3CX phone clients. My name is Charles, I'll be your host for today, taking you through a short presentation on the deployment for 3CX phone, and then sharing my screen to do a live demonstration um, of some of the features and the deployment. So let's begin. So what is 3CX phone? 3CX phone is a software SIP client produced by 3CX that you can enable and connect to your uh, 3CX phone system, make and receive calls, and many other functions that are available. These uh, clients are available for the Windows and Mac OS desktop operating system, and also available for iPhone, Android, and with the instruction of version 14, there is also a Windows 10 mobile um, version. 3CX phone clients provide a unique mobility and productivity features, such as present status of coworkers. So with your 3CX phone, you will be able to see immediately um, who's available, uh, your co-workers, um, who you, who's on the phone, um, and make and receive calls to your co-workers and also make and receive calls internally and externally. We uh, have a number of integration tools available for the FreeCX phone. So for example, you can integrate your CRM software. There is a supported um, CRM uh, third-party integration that's installed with the plugins. Um, features such as uh, Outlook integration, um, Sugar CRM, Act, um, and uh, many others that are available uh, as uh, integration with the soft phone in order to uh, make receive calls directly from these pro these uh, software platforms, and also um, have the ability to add contacts as calls come in. Also, there is a, a TAPI integration. So if you have a, a software that is TAPI aware, you can integrate 3CX phone using the TAPI driver to make and receive calls. Also, we do have uh, an API which um, allows you to configure uh, your own um, applications to talk to the 3CX phone clients. The 3CX phone for Windows and the Mac OS is uh, the desktop version of the 3CX phone. This has a built-in SIP engine or can be used in CTI mode on Windows uh, only. CTI allows you to control your IP phone that's configured on the same extension from your 3CX phone for Windows to make receive calls from the, by clicking um, numbers into your 3CX phone and making the call from the IP phone. It is a, a centralized hub for presence and status management. See the uh, presence and status of your coworkers within one um, client. You can uh, easily set up conferences and manage conferences using the 3CX phone. You can also, as I've said, CTI mode can control the uh, popular desk phones that we use, the IP phones that we have as our supported and uh, preferred models such as Fanville, HTEC, SNOM and Yealink. Where you're using a phone that's not on this list, you will have the feature of make call where the when making a call from 3CX phone in CTI mode with paired with a, a phone that's not on this list, 
you will be basically your call will be placed on hold until the called party answers the phone then the call will be connected uh, similarly there is um, the same feature when using the Fanville HTEC SNOM or Yealink phones uh, configured remotely again CTI is available only for uh, Windows and only in the when the PBX the phone and the 3CX phone are all on the same LAN okay we also uh, have the click to call feature which allows you to make a call from a tel protocol enabled link so if you go to web pages and see hover over uh, a telephone number and have a, a tel enabled link you can just click on this to make the call so this uh, the 3CX phone also includes the expanded present screen, the switchboard screen, to monitor calls and queues. And I'll show you this in our live demonstration um, after the presentation. Okay, so 3CX phone, Android, iPhone, and Windows 10 mobile, the soft phone, smartphone client, is basically, uh, again, a built-in SIP engine is not uh, available in CTI only in uh, the, the 3CX phone SIP engine and allows you to make receive calls using the 3CX phone client on their smartphones now um, this is whether they are connected via a 3 or 4G connection and a Wi-Fi connection so when these are available you can use your extension anywhere and uh, receive calls to your extension on your PBX on the go. Now this massively uh, can imagine um, will cut down costs and um, give you some in, some uh, a lot of savings and increased productivity being able to not use the um, soft phone configured with your VoIP providers on your free sex phone system uh, and not having to use your your mobile um, GSM uh, to make and receive these calls. Again, uh, we do 3CX does provide the the mobile clients do provide uh, status and presence management to see the statuses and presence of your co-workers, and it also includes a centralized call log, call history, um, if you like, and a the phone book also available. Um, from all the mobile clients. Okay, so how do we deploy the 3CX phone? Once you set up your 3CX phone system, you simply find the extension that you want to configure a mobile client for, or a 3CX phone client for, and click on um, send welcome email. This will send the users an email the email that's configured under the extension that also provides the download links for the Windows and Mac versions and also um, the descriptions on how to install using the uh, iPhone Android or Windows 10 mobile these are all available from their relevant um, stores so iPhone from the App Store Android from Google Play and the Windows 10 for the Microsoft version of the App Store Within the welcome email, there is also an attachment that is the config attachment, 3CX config, which is basically all the configuration for that extension. The user just needs to double click on the file. The extension will automatically be configured to their extension with all their settings. Okay, And when there is an update, the clients are automatically updated. One of the features that the mobile clients have are, is the push technology. So for free sex phone for iPhone and Android can be woken up via push. So this allows us to put the mobile app to sleep after a number of seconds. Okay, and even with the smartphones are asleep, the call comes in, push comes into play, a notification is sent to the phone, the phone wakes up the client and allows you 
to answer the call even from the lock screen for example from the iPhone okay some advanced functionality that gives you much mobility so you you can have your 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 clients configured on your smartphones with your extension anywhere you go 3g or 4g wi-fi connection and take your extension anywhere okay this does um for the android for example requires push to be configured for the iphone it does not by default the um, iphone the push push on the extension is enabled by default um, but for the android clients you do need to configure um, google um, api very very easy to do the link that's available in this slide will explain how to do this from your google gmail account developer console and add an api for your um for your android that then you use the um information that's provided to configure the pbx with push and then send the welcome email out again if you've configured any androids before you uh, configured your uh, android push Okay, so within the management console, we have a section just for the 3CX phone, um, and that's under each extension 3CX phone tab. Okay, gives you the options here. Um, we can ha have various things affecting the, the clients for the 3CX phone. For example, we can disallow the use of 3CX phone, so no clients can be configured on this extension. We can also hide the forwarding rules to stop people from um, putting their changing their statuses and putting forwarding rules from the mobile clients or the Windows or Mac uh, clients. We can also have the ability to show call recordings um, to the 3CX phone clients. So if, uh, if recordings are enabled for an extension and we, have, uh, we allow people to listen to their recordings, we can have the recordings downloaded to the 3CX phone clients wherever they are. Uh, and also we can uh, allow deletion of the recording or not. Also with the 3CX phone for Windows, we can configure the default startup state. So we can um, choose if we, if we want to, to start the um, 3CX phone in CTI mode, connecting to the desktop phone or in soft phone mode, where it just connects as a SIP client to and use the, the, the 3CX phone um, independently from any IP phone. And we can choose the default startup screen, either a dial pad or the presence window can open. When um, 3CX phone clients, uh, for Windows only, for example, we can choose to use the tunnel. Now, this is integrated into the 3CX phone. Um, the tunnel is actually integrated all, to, all, all, to all the clients now. And you can choose to start the 3CX phone um, in the tunnel mode. For example, I mentioned Windows. The Windows phone in, um, in remote connection where it's outside the office requ does require the tunnel for it to work properly. Okay, the tunnel is uh, a great feature. I'll show you a little bit more about it in the coming slides. And here is where we enable push for smartphones also. This by default, when you create an extension, as I've said, is actually enabled. Okay, so 3CX phone is a remote extension. It can be used in the office LAN or out of the office WAN. Um, we've optimized the switching between networks. So it's faster, smoother, quicker. Um, if we use our split DNS infrastructure to resolve the PBX addresses internally and externally using the one FQDN, then it's very, very fast, um, very efficient, very, very quick to connect. Um, and uh, it will also have the, uh, the tunnel, as I've mentioned, to avoid any firewall issues. So if you do have the tunnel enabled, you will be able to bypass any issues with your firewall simply by having the port 5090 for example forwarded on your firewall to allow the tunnel to, to make connections it'll make a, a like a vpn connection as such 
to the PBX and avoid any um, issues with your firewall, especially any SIP ALG, which does not affect the 5090 port. Okay, here we see a, a 3CX phone as a remote connection. You can see that the main configuration, we have the extension name, the extension number, authentication ID, authentication password, which is all configured automatically via the config file from the welcome email. We have the in-office, the local IP, and the out-of-office, the external IP or the external FQDN, okay, and the tunnel port that is used and the tunnel password. So this is basically um, what you'd see under the accounts configuration within a 3CX phone client. Okay, as I mentioned, the integrated tunnel um, with the tunnel option on, and it is advised to have, it easily transverses any firewall. So providing 5090 for the standalone is open, you just have a, a, a it, basically connect through the firewall independently of any other um, piece of equipment that's on your network directly to the PBX. Okay, so it, it can bypass um, SIP LG checks, SIP LG checks um, 5060 and does not affect 5090. And it's very convenient for users who are on the move. Um, in some countries, 5060 is actually blocked by a lot of ISPs um, to force you to use their GSM network. Um, thus, um, when using the tunnel, we can use a different port uh, and bypass those issues also. It also will eliminate um, one-way audio, any registration and call disconnect issues. So if you experience any of these issues, switch on the tunnel, make sure you use the tunnel, make sure that your port is forwarded on the firewall and this will um, aid in that. Okay, as I've said, it just requires a single TCP UD port, UDP port by default on the standalone installation is 5090. Hey, the 3CX tunnel again, um, the default port 5090 is integrated into the 3CX phone for Windows, for Mac, for Android, for iPhone and Windows 10 mobile. So all the clients for 3CX phone you do have the option to use a tunnel and it's strongly suggested that you, and recommended you do so. And that concludes our uh, presentation. Just a short one today and we'll share my screen with you now so that I can show you some of these uh, features on how to configure and uh, some of the other features that are available for the 3CX phone itself. Okay, here is my PBX. As you can see, I have a number of extensions configured, but my 3CX phone is actually not registered. Simply go to my extensions tab, locate the extension that I want to configure and send the welcome email. Okay, make sure to send the welcome email that you do have your SMTP server settings configured correctly in order to be able to send emails to wherever you need to send them to. Um, here you configure your, under the network tab, mail server, configure the mail server, um, and you can also send a, a test email to make sure that everything's working. Um, that will send a test email to the default uh, email address that you entered during the installation. And here is the main admin email that you need to send. The test email too. So we're just waiting for the welcome email to come through. There it is, simple as just click on this. And here is a typical welcome email for my extension. Now I have um, my voicemail pin number here. I have my voicemail number and also the download and locations um, for the uh, 3CX phone clients for all the Windows, Mac, Android and iPhone. 
Okay. At the bottom, there will be an attachment. This is the 3CX config file. We simply download this attachment. Okay. And when we click on it, with 3CX phone installed first, it will go and configure the phone to my extension. And there you go. Simple as that. My 3CX phone for Windows was already installed. So all I did was click the config file and 3CX phone configured to the extension that I sent the welcome email out for. Okay, and I can do this um, uh, on any extension. I can configure multiple extensions. As you can see, I've got multiple extensions configured on this. I can have any one of these active, but only one at, at, um, at the same time. Um, this one here, aptly named 3CX Foon, <laughs> is the one that we're going to be using to do our, um, our testing with. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you uh, some of the capabilities with. Okay, so when we go to the PBX, and we go to the extension that we have configured to the 3CX phone tab, you can see here these options that I mentioned earlier about the 3CX tunnel and the push technology. Okay. Some of the features of the 3CX phone, something that's new to version 14, are the ability to configure BLF keys on extensions, or actually BLF keys with whatever you want, custom speed dials to dial out numbers. Um, you can log in and out of queues directly with BLF keys. You can change statuses with BLF keys. Uh, and whatever you want. Let's configure a BLF key for one of the phones I have here. So we can see the status of the phone. Let's configure another one on another extension. Okay. Also, let's configure, um, I can change my status to a, from available, change status to um, away, or whatever I want to do, okay? Or I can even choose to have a, a shared parking uh, extension configured, okay? So if I okay that, go back to my phone. Now, as you can see, it affects the, um, the BLF keys immediately. So as soon as I configure them, I don't even have to re-register. I just click OK and the BLF keys will appear on, on my 3CX phone. Okay. Um, one of the things that I did want to show you is the, we didn't mention is the rights tab, which I'll show you a little bit later on. This rights are the rights that affect the 3CX phone and what I can do in the expanded presence screen, which I'm going to show you now. Okay, so expanded presence from 3CX phone, just click the switchboard feature there. And by default, I have the user view, which shows me my users, um, co-workers that are configured under my um, extension group, okay? I can choose to see various views here. I can have a receptionist view, which I can see the active calls, uh, a manager view, which also adds the queues, uh, a queue manager, which basically shows me more information about my queues that I'm a member of. Okay, and obviously the wall board that shows me um, statistics on my queues. Now, I'm not a member of any queues at the moment. So what I need to do is go back. Okay, find my 3CX phone, make sure that I'm a member of the group that I want to be under the extension group. I can go into my queues. I can add my 3CX phone into the queues that I want to be a member of. So once I add it there, I can go back to my present screen. Go into my uh, manager view or queue manager view, and already you can see the uh, 
the Q um, with the statistics of the Q also listed there. Okay, so um, not just the uh, available status of other users within the queue, but also here you can see waiting, serviced, abandoned, longest wait time. These are statistics from the actual queues that I'm a member of. I can be a member of multiple queues, which we'll do now. So all I need to do is go back to another queue and add myself to this queue also and be able to see statistics for this queue also and who is logged in, who is not logged in and so on and so forth. Okay, again, if I choose my wallboard now, I can see, I will start to see statistics of queues. If there were any um, to view, I can choose to see, um, hold on a second. I can choose to see two or what, how many queues I want to see in my wallboard as well. Okay, so I can choose to see all my queues in one place. Um, so that's the, uh, queues and the ability to manage them. If I was a queue manager, I'd be able to log people in and out of queues also from this present screen. Okay, so what else can I do with the switchboard? Um, let's see, let's make a call from one of the phones. I can see I'm gonna dial my voicemail. And straight away, I can see that this extension is actually in a call. If I go to my presence, I can see that it's in a call to 999, which is my voicemail box for this extension, okay? From here, I can also um, affect the call if I had rights to do so um, from another FreeSex phone. I'll show you the call rights in a second. Okay, let me just configure another extension here and uh, show you the exact uh, effects of what um, you can do with um, calls in a present screen. Okay, so here is um, another extension that I've configured that I'm now going to call from this phone in order to um, show you what can be done with the with manipulation of calls. Firstly though, let's show you what you can do from the present screen. You can actually call extension that you want to call by right clicking on the extension. Um, you can leave a voicemail directly on an extension. If you have the rights to intercom, you can intercom that extension or you can conference that extension in with another with, a, with an ongoing call or uh, conference in and add users to conferences. So it's really um, great functionality uh, for what's available for FreeCX phone in conjunction with the, uh, the present screen. I can also send a chat to um, my, my fellow coworker if I want to chat, I simply send um, a chat window there or I can click the chat feature there and compose and choose who I want to send the chat to. I can choose to chat multiple extensions at the same time, okay? Uh, the easiest way to do it is just simply to click on the user within the present screen and send chat. Now, all I do is I say hello, send them hi, okay? When they then go to their 3CX phone, they can easily see that there's a chat message available for them and they can go and reply back. There's no one there at the moment, so no one to answer me. 
that's the chat feature. When they answer, you also see a chat window turn blue. The chat um, icon turn blue, that means there's a chat. But it also, you can affect the chat by going into the settings and saying uh, to automatically open the chat window on an incoming chat. So whenever there's an incoming chat, the window will open automatically. Another great feature there. Okay, one of the other things that I wanted to show you was the, the voicemail. Okay, so I can choose to leave a voicemail to this extension. So 107, it's ringing. I can choose to divert the call directly to voicemail. Okay, so I'm just leaving the message now. So save the message. Excellent, and just put the phone down. Straight away, you can see that the um, voicemail button there, the voicemail icon there has turned blue. If I click on it, I can see that there's a message waiting for me to listen. And I can choose to either play it on the uh, the machine that I'm that I'm using, or I can play it on the phone. If I choose to play it on the phone, it will play back on my phone, and I can answer and hear the message on my desk phone, for example, if I'm in CTI mode, or so on and so forth. Okay. Also, what I can do with the message, I can uh, mark as heard, mark as unread, or delete the voicemail message directly from 3CX phone, and it's gone. Okay, now uh, a great feature I wanted to show you was the ability to control um, or manipulate calls within the status screen. Okay, so if I make a call to an extension and they answer, I can see the call here is basically available for me to manipulate. I don't have any rights, therefore the call will not allow me to do anything with that call, okay? But what I do with the rights, is simply go to the management console and as I've mentioned earlier, the rights tab for that extension can be found there. Um, I can allow different things to happen or me to allow different things to take control of um, IVR, calls in a, in, in a digital receptionist. I can uh, choose to take these calls, choose to transfer them. Um, I can allow parking, so allow the 3652 park calls um, or intercom other extensions or barge in, listen or whisper, uh, which re does require a Pro Edition version to be able to do this. Okay, so once I've uh, enabled the rights that I want, click OK. And now, when I make a call to, let's see, let's see who I can make a call to who will answer. Let's try this again. Okay. So now I've answered the call. You can see from my present screen that call is in place and I can now affect that call with the rights that I've given uh, this extension to be able to do. So I can barge in and talk to both parties i can listen to the conversation i can choose to whisper 
to either of the connected um, people on the call. They're both internal, so I can whisper to either or th these people. I can transfer the call to one of the two extensions. Um, I can actually transfer, I can actually conference the call in with myself um, or any other user that I want to conference in to the call. I can choose to park the call. And because both users are on the same PBX and I have got rights, I can choose which one I want to affect with the parking or the transfer or the whisper. Okay. And I can also choose to drop a call. If I like, I can record the call. So this call can be recorded from this extension and any call to any user. It doesn't have to be uh, a call that I've made or this extension's made. If I have the rights and in the same um, extension group, I can do that to any call between any of the um, parties involved. If it's to uh, ex an external call, I will be able to affect only the extension. If it's both of them uh, internal extensions, I can affect either of them. Okay. These some of the other features that are available from uh, 3CX Phone covered in some of the other webinars coming up. If you see the extension, um, configuring extensions, you will see more about the forwarding rules um, and other available options for also including the 3CX phone. So do keep up with the webinars. There's some um, very good webinars coming up and always available. Uh, and uh, just for you to take part in for free and learn anything you want to learn about the 3CX phone system and its uh, capabilities. Hey, thank you very much for joining us today. Hope to see you all again very soon. Take care.